Some oh, bitch shit. shit, man. Just get the fuck off me, man. No shit, man. Just let me go, bro. Come on. Oh, why would I do that? Because I don't do. I didn't do anything, man. Why am I here? Just get out of here. Man. Okay. Get someone who can unhandcuff me. Okay. Why don't you talk to my boss? Okay. Mr. Roy Church. We're at the Federal Bureau of Investigation in Kansas City, mm -hmm. and we've come here to discuss your parole violation. Of course, you're under no obligation to answer any of our questions. Anything you say can and will be used against you in evidence. You're entitled to a lawyer at all times. We use no force, make no promises, and we'll make no threats. I know the form, buddy. Just get on with it. Call me Dick. <laughs> Dick. We'd uh, like to know a little bit more about your activities since your parole. To our uh, knowledge, you've got on all these three major check sprees in the Kansas City area. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I'd like to write bad checks. What the fuck? Come on. What? You care to give us a list? Oh. Denny's, 13 bucks for breakfast. Uh, the pharmacy, 15 bucks for toothpaste and shit. And I got the fuse box in my car chained up. Wrote a bad check for about 130 bucks. Mm, 130 bucks, yeah. Wanna write that down like that? We're curious, Dick. What makes people accept your checks? We'd, uh, we'd like to know the secret. Maybe that's one of the secret. Yeah. I'll tell you the secret. Because like you two fellas, most people are stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you're funny Dick. Guy. Ooh, okay. You're a funny guy. Yeah, yeah you should be, should be a comedian. Mm -hmm. Prior to the November 20th, doing swell, and then we start hanging papers all over Texas, Mexico, and all the way to lovely Las Vegas. Why don't you tell us why, Dick? It'd be a good book, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it would. Let me see my buddy, Perry Smith. Got paroled last spring, right? And he sent me a postcard from Idaho reminding us about our deal that we had to go to Mexico, Acapulco, one of them places. Going to be businessmen. <laughs> Charge tourists to take him out deep sea fishing, buy a boat, you know? Okay, uh, this boat. How'd you plan to pay for it? Yeah, I was getting to that. Yeah. Harry had his sister living in Fort Scott. You see, she was holding some serious cash for him. I'm talking about several thousand. Something about the sale of his father's estate in uh, Alaska. He's coming to get his money. And to you use it to buy a boat. Yeah. But it didn't work out that way. No, you see it come out about a month later and we met up in Kansas City. Kansas City, Kansas City. When? In the um, day, a day of the week. Uh, Thursday. Did you go to Fort Scott? Saturday. November 20th. November. November 14th. November 14th. Uh, what? What time did you leave for Fort Scott? I, we 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 worked on my car, mm -hmm. and then we ate some chili, and then we left. Must have been around three o'clock. Three o'clock. Uh, was Perry Smith's sister expecting you? <laughs> um, no, no, she wasn't. See, she didn't have a. A telephone, you know, so, so we can call. No telephone? No, no address. So yeah. how do you expect to find her? I inquired at the post office like a normal person. Is this guy stupid? Did you? Well, Perry did. They said she moved to Idaho or some shit. No forwarding address. Oh, must have been quite a blow, especially after you've been counting on a big piece of money like that, huh? Yeah, 
well, yeah, well, we still plan on going to Mexico. Interesting. Listen, guys, come on, you gonna let me go. I was going to pay everybody back, all the bad checks I was writing. Once we started making money down in Mexico, come on. All right, Dick. I'm curious. After you left Fort Scott, what do you plan to do then? Uh, well, we, uh, we drove around, we ate, mm. and then, then we drove back. <clears throat> you mean you went home? No, went to Kansas City. Did some sightseeing, we tried a cherry row. Yeah, you fellas look like you know what cherry row's all about. <laughs> Come on! Every cop in Kansas City knows cherry row, you can go there and get a woman for the night? Come on, man. Some amateurs, pros. I had a lot of luck down in cherry row back in the day. And this uh, particular night, any, any luck at all? Yeah, the bad kind. Picked up a couple of fucking rollers, man. Hanged? I don't know, Penelope and Karen. I don't know, look, look, we took them back. They fucking robbed us in the morning, okay? Nice. They jacked us. And, uh, you didn't do anything about it? No, what the fuck am I gonna do about it? Huh. You couldn't notify the police? <laughs> An ex felon on parole, drinking and, 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 and associating with these, with these fucking women? I'm supposed to call you and tell you what to go arrest these hoes. Come on. You guys are stupid, man. Yeah. All right. Come on. Tell us what you did that day you checked out at Funny Even. Funny Even, um, we had a breakfast and then um, I took Perry back to the motel we stayed at. Then I went home to my family. It was Sunday. We watched the game on TV. I was tired, so I went to bed. Okay? All right. When did you see Perry Smith? Monday. He came by my body shop. And would you talk about New Mexico? Yeah, we still like the idea. We're just gonna lay low. Look, we never plan on coming stateside, okay? It wasn't worth the risk. Okay. Worth another stretch in Lansing? Yeah, we didn't figure that we'd be back in the United States, okay? We're gonna stay in Mexico. Hmm. On the day following, the checks for you. Oh, come on. That'd be the 21st. Okay, whatever. You and your friend Smith disappeared. What were your uh, activities between then and your arrest here in Las Vegas? So we do this and that. We'd uh, drive into town, get a bite to eat, pick up some, some, some ladies. You know? Ooh, ooh, you're gonna like this one. We stopped by a town in El Paso. Tina's everywhere. I knew you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose and Elsa, yeah. Well, was oh, a club. Okay. oh, a club. Yeah, they played the, the, play the greatest music. Oh, what kind of music? Americana, the America. Mexicana, oh, the jazz. Oh, oh, this. Yeah, yeah this Tina girl. Exactly. Food. Exactly. Amazing. Right? <laughs> All right. Cut the shit, Dick. I'm sure. I'm guessing you know why we're here. And I guess you realize when I've come all the way to Nevada just to chat with a bunch of cops. What is this about? What we dick. The what? What? Come all this way. Talk about a couple of checks. And what is this about? Tell me, Dick. Have you ever uh, oh heard of the Clutter Murder case? Murder kid? No. Hey, what the fuck is this? No, I, I know. I, 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 I didn't fucking kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. Question asked, Dick, was whether you heard of the cluttered murders. Heard? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I might have heard a little something about it. Read about it in the paper. Yeah, right. so what? So what? So vicious crime. Yeah. Stupid. Okay. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. You made two major mistakes, Dick. I didn't do shit. First was, you left a witness. A living witness. No. Who will testify in court. Who will sit in a witness box and tell the jury how Richard Hitchcock and Perry Smith bound, gagged, and murdered four helpless people. There's no fucking witness because you're not gonna pin this shit on me. I didn't fucking kill anybody, okay? No, are you doing no. bad checks? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, okay, I wrote a fucking bad check or two, okay? I was gonna pay this shit back. You want the. I'll fucking write you guys a. Come on! Alright, okay. I'm no fucking killer though. And why you been lying to us? 
I'm telling you everything you guys ask me. Now and then, maybe. Not always. For instance, you said you went back to Fort Scott, right? Yeah. To obtain the address of Perry Smith's sister? Maybe that's what I said. Perry Smith has no sister living in Fort Scott. He never has had it. And the Fort Scott post office happens to be closed on Saturday afternoons. Think it over, Dick. No, I, when I said he had a cousin. Cut the shit. Cousin in Michigan. Cut the shit. No. It's over. No, it. I, I'll see you soon. Now come on. No, I want my fucking lawyer. Hey! Hey! Mother. <laughs>